am Trinity Johnson, and I am a senior at Westside High School. Slay! And this is my poem, This is a Hypothetical Story, Wink. As I stand here today, you assume something about me. The reputation the name of my school carries, and I'm here to tell you that not every person who walks through those halls live a life of luxury and comfortability. You see, it starts with sweethearts who got busy the summer after high school, which led to the perfect baby, Chanel, number one. She was quiet and calm. She could do no wrong, no matter the arguments, the parties, the grandmas, the tias, they loved her. She was cute. The striking red hair off the porcelain skin, a doll played with by everybody. Mom cried when she found out she was pregnant with mistake number two. While still in the womb, mama hospitalized, baby not interested in lullabies, but smackdowns training like Rocky with the rib cage. When mistake number two is born, she's brown skinned, blackened hair, chubby, crying all the time, fascinated with causing havoc and craving attention. The four of them were desperate for De Niro. With mom and dad working all the time, the babies were thrown to relatives and daycare, daycare at an employee discount. Chanel, number one, watched out for her sister, would calm her down with songs and dancing. They were besties. They were taught to be respectful, to be quiet in places. Their words were unnecessary. They watched a lot, became the human bystander effect until one day, mistake number two couldn't take it anymore. The quiet in her stomach killing her, making her cry. Why does mom and dad I get to yell and I'm stuck in silence. I mean, she's stuck in silence. In a family that pitted everybody against each other, I'm surprised they lasted the long. But serenity never lasts. They see it two different ways. Chanel number one views mistake number two is leaving her. Mistake number two sees it as her only way out. They fall apart. Every time mistake number two asks to play, she's told that Chanel number one seeks solace. They get older and it stays the same. They become Vesuvius and Pompeii. Mistake now explosive and angry, aggressive, tries to live that life more than words of warning and discipline than ever expected. Chanel number one is disabled designer, basic, quiet, doesn't do anything wrong. And Mistake saw how happy she was with baby books and pictures. Mistake saw how much the family loved her, how they showed her off. Mistake had tried everything in her power to be shown off, to make the family think she designer. But when something is not wanted in the first place, when something better came before, can I blame them? Baby number three comes around. Baby number three is that had her when money wasn't an issue. She wasn't an issue. Mistake number two becomes a forgotten middle child. It's hard watching your siblings have the love I wish and prayed for. When my AP student, ex-athlete, poetry president wasn't enough, I know they love me. I just often wonder how much less.